NFL, NFL, National Football League. Your time has come. Did you think that I forgot? <laughs> I remember what you told me. I remember what you told me. NFL, I'm coming. I am here. I'm ready. You thought I was going to let this pass? You thought I was going to let this slip away? You thought I was just going to save everything for the other sports when you are supposed to be king, when you are supposed to be number one, when you are supposed to have all of the best, the greatest, the number one ideas on the planet, in the world, everywhere, on this galaxy, everywhere, on this realm. It's way bigger than galaxy. Everything on this realm. NFL, I just been waiting. I just been sitting back in the cut, waiting for my opportunity. Actually, no. I just been sitting back, doing other things, Concentrating, focusing on other sports. Not baseball. Not baseball. And now you have given me a reason. Well, actually, you've always given me a reason. I've always had a reason. Now it is go time. 15 of your teams, right now, 15 of your teams are dealing with the virus. Fifteen of your teams are dealing with this virus as I speak. How many teams do you have total? How many teams do you have total? Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me it's 30. Because if you have 30 teams and 15 of your teams are dealing with COVID, that means half of your teams Half of the teams that partake in the National Football League are suffering from the pandemic in some form or fashion. But yet, we got it under control. No. You got it under control. No. Who has it under control? Little League. And not to mention, not to mention the Raiders. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where they are located. The Raiders are still going to be the Maverick. The Raiders are still going to be the wild card. The Raiders are still going to be that friend that you don't want to take everywhere you go because that friend just might do something that gets everyone in trouble. We call those people wild cards. You got to have one on your crew. You got to have one on your team. But you just don't know what you're going to get. You just don't know what they're going to do. So you try to at least only bring them along when it's no, nothing, no one else available to go. Now, the Raiders, I, I knew you were going to wild card it up. I knew you were going to be the Raiders. It didn't matter that you were or are in Vegas. I mean, it's Vegas. Never been. It's Vegas. The Raiders are being punished by the NFL. Hey, there's something. The NFL and punishment. But is it working? No, because the Raiders are multiple offenders of breaking the imaginary NFL COVID-19 rules. I mean, the Raiders have done so many things to just not or to, to just signal we're not gonna even pretend we're not gonna even pretend to uh, play along we're not gonna even pretend to pretend to pretend to yeah no none of that nfl obviously well it's obvious to me it's clear to me that Whatever you're doing, it ain't working. Whatever your punishment, whatever your rules and regulation is, it ain't working. But what did or what do I expect you to do now? I mean, it wasn't like that you had 
an early warning, early in advance warning that something uh, was afoot, that something was going to come around that may prevent your sport from proceeding and carrying on. It's not like you had months in advance to plan in ahead. Wait a minute. Actually, you had months in advance. You had time in advance to plan ahead to create a schedule that was a uh, foolproof to create a schedule that could uh you know help out just in case you had to rearrange had to move around some games had to do some things that basically is not popular you had every opportunity every chance to but here we are this is what you chose. Let's go ahead and do the 16 games. Let's just go ahead and keep things the way they are because we're the, we're football. We're NFL. We we get away with stuff like this. We get away with stuff like this. It's not like it's not like um it's not like it's, it's not like we are rocket scientists. It's not like we even believe in science. It's not like hey, I know that 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 last shot wasn't fair it wasn't fair but looking at the history of looking at the history of you and science nfl i'm starting to think that uh you don't you don't believe in science either i'm starting to think that uh science is something that you try to stay away from science is something that you don't say when Everyone is around that's a part of the NFL. Science is only something that you say and you bring up when other people outside of the sport mention the sport. Hey, science, the science says this, the science says that. Ooh, I love, I like, I heart all of this science. NFL. I mean, seriously, why? Don't answer that. Don't answer that because we know the answer. I know the answer. You know the answer. But does everyone else know the answer? I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell everyone the answer. Give everyone the answer. And I'm just going to continue to sit back, continue to check you, and continue to, um, let's just say, let's just say, to make sure you are at least attempting, attempting to do the right thing. Because we already know money is the root of all evil. I never believed that. I never believed that until 2020. 2020 came around and the, 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 the malaise has been lifted. The malaise has been lifted. It's clear. I got a lot of things on my mind. I just want to give a shout out to the Falcons because I feel as though I was a little bit hard on you, Atlanta, ATL. I feel as though that somewhere along the lines that my uh, affection from a distance of you got mixed up as in me hate or disliking you i don't hate i don't dislike and i definitely do not love you or heart you i just how can i put this i enjoy your company because you entertain me unlike nfl national football league trust me this doesn't pain me and i'm definitely not gleeful opposite day opposite day opposite day hey what was I saying again? Yeah, National Football League. Seriously, I can't believe, I can't believe you didn't have a better plan. I can't believe you didn't have a better strategy. In fact, you do have Roger Goodell as the NFL commissioner. I have more respect for him as a commissioner than the other guy as the commissioner and not the, the other guy in the other sport. Not NFL, not NFL. This has been, 
this has been a, a learning experience. This has been a learning experience and I have learned nothing. Learning experience where I learned nothing, but it is what it is, right? That's what we're saying about this. It is what it is, and, and, right? NFL, NFL. I should have known. I should have known it was going to be. I should have known that it wasn't going to take a year for me to come back and say what I had to say about you because you just don't learn, NFL. You would never learn. I thought that you were smart. I thought you had a high IQ. I thought you were rocket science. I thought you believed in science. I thought you, I thought you were uh, next level. I thought you were next level, innovative, all about moving forward, all about, you know, progress. I clearly, clearly, clearly was wrong. Please riddle me this, NFL. Riddle me this. How is it possible that right now, RN, currently, that 15 of your teams are in some form of a COVID-19 protocol? 15 of your teams. Now, this isn't okay on any levels. This isn't okay on any terms. This isn't okay, period. But what makes it more concerning, what makes it more alarming, what makes it more something that just makes me want to run around in circles and cry until I can't cry anymore is that 15 out of, what, 30? 15 out of, how many teams do you have? Is it 30? 15 out of, 30, let's just go with this, 15 teams, half of your teams are in some form of protocol when it comes to COVID-19, half of your teams. Now, you had time, unlike some other sports, you had time, you had advanced knowledge of what was coming around. You had advanced knowledge of what the possibilities were, but yet, you chose this path, yet we are here, yet we went right instead of going left, and now everything's all hosed up. Are we going to finish? Is the Super Bowl still going to be the Super Bowl? Is the Super Bowl still going to be played when it's played? Are you going to take two, three weeks before the Super Bowl? Or there are so many questions, not enough answers, and you had so many opportunities. You had time to schedule properly you had time to have protocols to make this situation better less uh rigid less uh bad you had so many opportunities in the beginning but all i kept hearing you're saying things the commissioner was saying things the press releases were uh, saying things, and all it was saying to me was That's all I was hearing. That's all I was hearing. Because NFL, we are men. We are manly men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are NFL. Nothing going gonna, to gonna, gonna prevent us from doing what the NFL does or do. Well, yeah. And how is that working out for you, NFL? Sure, you're playing games, but really, are you playing games? It seems like every other day there's a, a, a outbreak. And not only that, there's an outbreak within the team. What about the community? What about the community that the teams are located in? Have you give that any thought? Did you give that any thought at the time? I know. I know. I don't want to hop up on my soapbox and be the guy who's looking down upon everyone. I'm not here for that. I don't do that. But... I'm definitely here for some common sense. I'm definitely here for some knowledge. I'm definitely here to uh, share the wealth as in knowledge. But it doesn't work that way, right? Because it's about the, uh, the money, money, dollar bill, y'all. Money, money, dollar bill, y'all. And at the same time, your uh, rules and regulations when it comes to... Uh, virus and COVID-19 protocols and all that stuff. You can't even get teams to follow it. You can't even get players to follow it. You can't even get coaches to follow it. And the Raiders, 
yeah, I'm talking about you. The Raiders are the Mavericks. The Raiders are the Outlaws. The Raiders are still the Raiders. They raid you, they pillage, and they steal. But not steal, steal, or not Houston Astros steal, or Houston Asterix steal. Nobody, nobody steals like that. Nobody steals like that. You find, you find the Raiders. It doesn't matter where they are. The Raiders can be on Mars. The Raiders can be on the moon. The Raiders can be in a different realm, solar system, galaxy, whatever. They still are going to do what the Raiders do. Finding them 500K, losing draft picks, finding the coach, and they're still breaking protocol. They're still breaking rules. Uh... I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but uh, I don't think that's working. I don't think that's working. How about this? How about trying something different? Trying something else? You can, you can uh, call me. I can give you my opinion, my advice, but it's gonna come with a fee. It's gonna come with a fee, or you can, it's gonna come with a fee. That's how I roll. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.